My name is Dr. James St. Clair and I'm the founder of Top Dog Rehabilitation and I'm incredibly excited you selected the walking wheels cart. This cart is very adjustable, it is incredibly stylish and it transports amazingly. In addition to that, it's very easy to use and it works really, really well. Hi, my name is Terry and I will be going over what comes in the box for the award-winning walking wheels. This is the box that your wheelchair will be coming in. This is the user's manual for the mini walking wheels. These are the stirrups. These are the leg rings. This is the belly belt. These are the wheels that have the struts already attached to them. This is the frame for the mini has the extenders already in it as well as a connector. It also does come with a wider connector for dogs that are a little bit wider. The Allen key with the set screws as well as the front harness. The wheel struts slide up and down inside the wheel leg to adjust the height. For more flexibility, the legs themselves can be moved up and down using a Phillips head screwdriver. On the left, the legs are on the shorter leg setting. On the right, the legs have been adjusted for longer legs dogs. If you need to make this adjustment, there's a separate video that shows you how. Now we will go over how to put the front harness on your dog. Before adjusting the front harness, you do need to take these neoprene sleeves off. It makes it a lot easier to adjust. You're going to want to note that there are two black straps and one red strap. The red strap does go behind the dog's front legs underneath the belly area. The red strap also does have a buckle on it. This buckle is going to be unbuckled in order to put it on the dog. It makes it a lot easier to put it on the dog. You're going to want to take the harness just like this. The dog's head is going to go through here. And again, the red strap goes underneath the belly behind the front legs. You're going to just clip the clip back in and then you're going to s tighten up the straps. You want to make sure that these neoprene shields are going over the dog's shoulders. All the straps should be snug. Again, the shields should be over the shoulders. All the straps are snug. After you have the straps snug, you should take it, the um, comfort sleeves can be put back onto the harness. You do want to take it off the dog in order to put those comfort sleeves back on. So now we're going to put the comfort sleeves back on. For the shorter um, straps, you're going to want to have these comfort sleeves cut in half. And you're going to want to make sure that the comfort sleeves are tucking in the extra strapping. So that it's not hanging down and interfering with your dog walking. And then simply put it back on the dog. So now I will be demonstrating how to put the rear harness onto the wheelchair. The rear harness that comes with the wheelchair is the leg ring style harness. When you put the, wheel, the leg rings into the wheelchair, you want to make sure that they're going along the side of the wheelchair, not going from the left to the right, but going along the side with the, side, with the extenders. When you put it onto the wheelchair, you're going to make sure that the clips, the harness clips, go over the side of the wheelchair, not going from underneath. You do not want them to go under. This way is the incorrect way. And make sure that the harness clips are going over the side and clipping in. You can hear them snap in.
These pieces are the parts that go over the dog's back end. It helps to keep the dog into the wheelchair. For some dogs that don't feel that that's comfortable, you can just leave them hanging on the side. You also want to make sure that the leg rings are tight across the frame and not hanging down a lot. Now I'm going to talk about the optional rear harness. This is the optional walk and lift harness that can be purchased separately with, from the wheelchair. You would use it in place of the leg rings. Simply just put your dog's legs through the hole and then you buckle it up and over the back. It fastens onto the wheelchair the same way that the leg rings do by the harness clip. You do need to keep in mind that the optional walk and lift harness is used separately from the leg rings. You cannot use them both at the same time. Now we're gonna show how to put the dog into the wheelchair. You have the front harness on and that's all adjusted. The leg rings are in the wheelchair. And grab the dog by the back legs and put the legs through the leg rings. If you're going to use the straps over the back, you're going to want to secure those over the dog's back end. Then lift the front of the cart. You're going to put the extenders through the loops of the front harness and snap it in. Again, the loop, put the extender through the loop of the front harness and snap it in. For dogs that don't have use of their back legs, you're going to want to use the stirrups. The stirrups simply hang off the back end of the cart. For dogs with shorter legs, you can adjust the stirrups, simply sliding the hook down the elastic and then wrapping it back around. Grab the dog's back leg and put it through the stirrup. And then you're going to want to adjust it by sliding this little push button down so it holds the dog back, dog's back leg up. The extender you want to make sure is in the proper position, which is the extender should be ending at the middle point of the dog's front leg should not be extending past the front leg and it should not be behind the front leg, right in the middle, in the center. Now we're gonna take the dog out and we're gonna do the last few last adjustments. When you're taking the dog out, you want to make sure their legs are out of the stirrups. Then you're going to take the dog out of the front harness first, unclipping the clip, taking the extender out of the front harness. The wheelchair at this point will fall down to the ground. Undo the straps over the back and then lift the dog's back end out of the leg rings. You do want to do some adjusting if the wheelchair is not long enough or is not wide enough for your dog. It is easier to take the leg rings off to do this adjustment. The wheelchair is adjustable in height, length, and width. Use your Allen key and push the push buttons. Make it as wide as it needs to be for your dog. You can also adjust in the length. And also in the height. Push buttons again. The wheelchair is made to be flexible. It's made to move with the skeleton of your dog. If this is undesired by you, you can put the set screws in and this will make it so that it will not be flexible. Put the set screws into the holes that are located at the back of the wheelchair and screw it in a little bit. Two locations at the back of the wheelchair. The other two locations are at the end of the frame where the extenders go in, as well as on the inside of the leg where the struts go into the wheelchair. 
and we're going to explain how to put the belly belt on. The belly belt is for dogs that need a little bit of extra support in the middle of their bodies. There are two sides to the belly belt, side with the loop and a clip, also the side with the Velcro. The side that you're going to put on first is the side with the loop and the clip. I'm going to simply slide the loop through the extender. Then you're going to help keep it in place by putting the rope around the front, around the clip of the extender. This does help to keep it in place so it doesn't slide farther back. You're going to put it underneath the clip so that when the dog's front harness clips in, it keeps it in place. The other side, you're going to undo the Velcro. Put the Velcro side over the extender. reattach the velcro you're going to make sure that this red part is underneath your dog then again the rope slide it underneath the front harness clip to keep it in place